Uh, yes, hello, bruh, ladies bruh, and gentlemen, bruh. and uh. Welcome back. Now, before I begin this video, let me start off by saying if you are new to the channel, I think it's a really good idea for you to subscribe, hit that sub button, ring that bell, so you can see more videos from me uh, uh, whenever I make a video. Th there you go. Great deal. All right, so if you've been keeping up with the latest spilling of tea, as they call it, uh, the situation involving Trisha Paytas, Jason Nash, David Dobrik, Brandon Cal, 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 Brandon, that guy, that guy, the one who dates underage girls. Yeah, hmm, that's the one. I'm willing to bet that you saw the video on Trisha Paytas venting about David Dobrik and Jason Nash and the whole situation with Tana and the threesome and it's a very weird situation and Trisha got to the point where she was like, bruh, I can't handle it anymore. I've got to get this off my chest. I'm going to spill the tea and I, I don't really care what happens after it, but here it is. Here's all the truth. And it was all very juicy drama. It was great to watch, but in the same token, it was very weird and it was a little bit sad to see all these relationships seemingly just crumble in one video. And Trish even went as far as to say in the video that uh, this could be the end of her and Jason Nash. And she was just like, ah. Oh. And she made sure to say in the video that she loves Jason. Jason makes her so happy. Uh, but Jason's also really creepy and he's a 45 year old man. And what he was doing with uh, an 18 year old girl, it's kind of, you know, not great, especially when you have kids and everything like that. But hey, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I love him. It's fine. I love him. I love a creep. Okay. That's my right to love a creep. If I want to love a creep, if I want to love someone that has kids and is is really sexually suggestive towards 18 year olds, hey. That's his life, but he's my man, I love him. And then Trisha deleted the video, that was that. I'm not gonna go too far into what happened in that video because it did happen a few days ago. It's kind of old news at this point. I do wanna touch on a few things that I took from this video. A lot of people did criticize Trisha and they did criticize David and they said that those were the two people mainly in the wrong. David mainly for being a bully and being manipulative and you know, being the crazy little kid that vlogs and can just get away with everything apparently. And then there was all the other people criticizing Trisha for airing her dirty laundry in public for being so quick and irrational about it. But the main thing that I took from this video, it does pertain to a certain 45 year old actor slash comedian slash Trisha Paytas's on and off boyfriend, Jason Nash. He rose to prominence by joining up with David Dobrik and Brandon Calvillo and Scotty Sire and Vincent Marcus and Man and Matthews and just all those people from Vine back in the day. He would just link up with them. They would collab, they'd make videos. It'd be real ha 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 funny and uh, yeah, that was it. I, I remember I watched a lot of his videos. I didn't really find him that funny. He definitely had moments. Uh, when he did stuff with Rydoon, he was pretty funny, but other than that, I was like, eh, it's okay. He, he's kind of like the old man that is just around and he's there and you can kind of throw jokes at him and he's just gonna be like, ow, ah. And that was pretty much his deal for a couple of years. And now he's doing the YouTube stuff with all the same people. In a way, he is like a, a man in his early 20s uh, but he's actually a man who's nearly 50. Yeah, yeah, I'm nearly 50, but let me tell you what, I can do everything these kids can do. Uh, not better, definitely not better, but I can still do it. <laughs> now his career for the past five to six years, possibly even longer, has pretty much been about hanging around with people that are a lot younger than him, that are a lot funnier than him, and he realizes that he probably can't make it on his own anymore. So you've got to shack up with those younger kids, you've got to collab with them, you've got to make sure that they make you look as cool as you, they possibly can, because you can't make yourself look very cool anymore. That's my opinion anyway, I think that's what the situation is. I think he's a guy that is not that funny, he's not really that good at much. We've seen it before, we've seen lots of good people latch on to kind of good people people and those not so good people kind of sort of become kind of good as well and you know everybody's happy everybody's making money uh, so I feel like that kind of summarizes Jason Nash as a whole he's a guy that's not really good at anything but he he but he hangs around with and I think that really summarizes Jason Nash as a whole he's not really that great at anything but he hangs around with people that are and by default, I guess he is kind of considered to be good as well. And the same could be said for his relationship with Trisha Paytas, because again, she was established, she was well known, she is a YouTube megastar, and then all of a sudden these two are dating, and now a whole lot more people know Jason Nash, who probably, definitely, 
yes, 100% didn't know who he was before. So he's definitely doing the right thing to keep himself relevant and get his face and name out there for sure. One thing that he's not doing right is uh, his relationship. <laughs> now, I just want to preface this by saying everybody's relationship is different. Your relationship is your relationship. It's not for me or for anybody else to tell you what to do, okay? You can do whatever you want with your life and your life with someone else. But it just seems to me that this relationship was doomed from the start because ever since they've got together, there's been controversy after controversy after controversy. Now in the video that Trisha released, she said that Jason Nash is funny and he's really nice and he makes her feel real special, which is cute. That's what every relationship should be about, right? But he also says that he, he can be quite manipulative and he's a bit creepy and he really wants to have sex with Tana Mojo. So I don't know, that doesn't really seem like a good quality in a relationship. Mm, I don't really think that's a great idea. But again, it's your relationship. You do what you like, okay? Okay? As I said before, this video that Trisha released made her look bad, made David Dobrik look bad, but it also made Jason Nash look bad. I would argue even worse than the other two. So a few days passed, everybody let the smoke settle, everybody took a big deep breath and just relaxed and approached the situation yet again. So Jason Nash posted a video to his channel a few days ago, um, which has since been deleted, I might add. Yes, it is, it is a bit fishy. In this video, it was him and Trisha sitting in front of the camera, basically having a couples therapy session, um, but not in private and in front of a camera on a monetized video. Interesting form of therapy, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I don't think normal people would do that. But when you're a celebrity, eh. So you're, she's like the, the funniest person I know. And like, she's so usually like, yeah, whatever you want to say. And that's what makes her great. So I get it now. And, and, and I'm sure you want to say some stuff too. So I've been talking a lot, but to let us use that clip. I you didn't. Did, I did. said whatever. Because he said no, no, no. And then they kept pressuring, pushing and pushing. And I, I want to just be with you. Is that your car? This video was very, very long. This video was about 34 minutes long. Ah, uh, hey, too long. Too long. That's like three episodes of Isakai Isakaya. And I know what you're gonna ask next. Yes, yes I did. I watched the whole thing from start to finish. And it was kind of uneventful. There was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of arguing. Actually, there's a comment in the comment section that summarizes the video perfectly. Here it is. Obviously, this thing is uh, for attention and for clicks and for views, obviously. Hello. Welcome to YouTube, by the way. But there was not only this video, because Trisha also posted a video on her channel a couple of days ago. And again, it's just more of the same. It's like, oh, I, I was wrong, but I was right. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, dry roast? <laughs> Stick a fork in me and I'm almost done. But I guess the main takeaway was that she is committed to her relationship with Jason Nash. She called him creepy, but by golly, she's determined to make it work. She wants to be with this creepy man for the rest of her life. Whether that's a good idea or not, I'm not sure. That's not for me to say. So after this video, the general consensus online was, hey, you know what, Trisha, Jason, you guys wanna be together? Great, I, I wish you all the best. But I think what the best thing to do would be to uh, not hang around with the vlog squad, okay? Don't do the videos if they're gonna upset you. Don't do things you don't wanna do. Just be a normal couple. Don't even film yourself. Just relax, enjoy each other's company, maybe get married, do whatever, but just don't worry about the vlog squad anymore. They're obviously gonna create a lot of tension, a lot of controversy. They're gonna continue to do things that are dangerous and clickbaity and sexual and all that. That's where they make their money and they're not gonna stop doing it anytime soon. So if you really do have a problem with it, uh, uh, don't worry, uh, get away from them, uh, just 
find some more friends. Trisha Paytas needs to find some new friends. So it's it's kind of like in real life. When you have friends that upset you and make you angry and you fight with, you either try patch it up or you just go and find other friends, okay? And it seems to me like they've kind of patched it up, but it's probably not gonna last and they're probably gonna create more headaches for each other. So you gotta invoke option two. You gotta go out and find some new friends, man. Like what? You uh, you, you, if you, uh, uh, you complain about these people so much, yet you just keep going back there. Mm. You don't have to. You don't have to. There are, as they say, plenty of fish in the sea. Now, you don't have to date any of these fish. You can go hang out with these friends. You can go drinking with these friends. You can go play Apex Legends with these friends. You don't have to do anything that you don't have to do in life, okay? That's one of the good things about life, okay? Unless you are in jail or unless you are a slave, which shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen, but I'm sure it does. Unless you're one of those two things, you have complete freedom to do whatever you like. And if you don't want to hang around with the vlog squad, if their stuff makes you uncomfortable, if they ask you to do creepy things, if your boyfriend is asking Tana Mojo to have a threesome with you, get out. Get out. You don't have to do it. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be anywhere. You can be your own woman, girl. But like, actually, like, if you don't like them, just go. It's, it's easy. It's simple. It's simple. I do that in real life. If I don't like someone, I don't talk to them. Easy. What a novel concept. So I think we're really, so after, after all this drama, I think we are really at a point where Trisha Paytas needs to make a decision. She needs to say, if I want a relationship with Jason, I need to determine what is going to jeopardize that. And I need to take that, whatever it is, and get rid of it. Now, while we're on the topic of this, um, how funny would it be if this was actually 100% fake? It was all for views, it was all for clicks, and once again, we, the audience, were lured in like a bunch of guppies. How funny would that be? Um, the answer is not funny. I would, I, would, I would be angry. I might even sue. That's how angry I'm going to be. So, in summary, what I would say about this whole situation is, Trish, you goofed, you probably shouldn't have said the things you said, uh, David Dobrik, uh, you're a bumhole. Jason Nash, you're a creep. Go do something else on your own, buddy. Stop relying on other people. Stop clout chasing, bruh. Okay? I'm just being honest. You gotta stop clout chasing. If you don't like them, don't talk to them. Easy. So ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's it. I just wanted to discuss the situation. I wanted to discuss the follow-up and the aftermath of it. And I just wanted to give my opinion. I love Trisha Paytas. I think she's great. I think she's iconic. I don't agree with everything she says and does, but she's very entertaining. I just hope she does what's best for her, okay? So thank you everybody for tuning in. Once again, if you are new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, make sure you sub to the channel, ring that notification bell. If you like the vid, slap a like on it, drop a comment down below. And I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh... I'll see you later. Bye-bye.